The Assault Amphibious Vehicle AAV, Official designation AAVP-7, A1 formerly known as Landing Vehicle, Tracked, Personnel 7 ABBR. LVTP-7 is a fully tracked amphibious landing vehicle manufactured by U.S. Combat Systems previously by United Defense, a former division of FMC Corporation. The AAVP-7, A1 is the current amphibious troop transport of the United States Marine Corps. It is used by U.S. Marine Corps Assault Amphibian Battalions to land the surface assault elements of the landing force and their equipment in a single lift from assault shipping during amphibious operations to inland objectives and to conduct mechanized operations and related combat support in subsequent mechanized operations ashore. It is also operated by other forces. Marines call them Amtraks, a shortening of their original designation, Amphibious Tractor. In June 2018, the Marine Corps announced they had selected the BAE Systems, IVCO Wield SuperAV for the Amphibious Combat Vehicle ACV, program to replace the AAV. <laughs> <laughs> development The LVTP-7 was first introduced in 1972 as a replacement for the LVTP-5. In 1982, FMC was contracted to conduct the LVTP-7 Service Life Extension Program, which converted the LVT-7 vehicles to the improved AAV-7A1 vehicle by adding an improved engine, transmission, and weapons system and improving the overall maintainability of the vehicle. The Cummins VT-400 diesel engine replaced the GM-8 V53T, and this was driven through FMC's HS-403A1 transmission. The hydraulic traverse and elevation of the weapon station was replaced by electric motors, which eliminated the danger from hydraulic fluid fires. The suspension and shock absorbers were strengthened as well. The fuel tank was made safer, and a fuel-burning smoke generator system was added. Eight smoke grenade launchers were also placed around the armament station. The headlight clusters were housed in a square recess instead of the earlier round type. The driver was provided with an improved instrument panel and a night vision device, and a new ventilation system was installed. These upgraded vehicles were originally called LVT-7A1, but the Marine Corps renamed the LVTP-7A1 to AAV-7A1 in 1984. Another improvement was added starting in 1987 in the form of a Cadillac Gauge Weapon Station or Upgunned Weapon Station UGWS, which was armed with both a .50 cal mm M2HB machine gun and a MK-1940 mm grenade launcher. Enhanced applique armor kits EAAK, were developed for the AAV-7A1 in 1989 and fitted by 1993, and the added weight of the new armor necessitated the addition of a bowplane kit when operating afloat. The Assault Amphibian Vehicle Reliability, Availability, Maintainability, Rebuild to Standard AAV RAM, RS program was approved in 1997. It encompassed all AAV systems and components to return the AAV to the original vehicle's performance specifications and ensure acceptable readiness until the EFV should become operational. The program replaced both the AAV engine and suspension with U.S. Army M2 Bradley Fighting Vehicle BFV components modified for the AAV. Ground clearance returned to 16 inches .6 centimeters, and the horsepower to ton ratio increased from 13 to 1 to its original 17 to 1. Introduction of the BFV components and the rebuild to standard effort was expected to reduce maintenance costs for the expected remaining life of the AAV through the year 2013. In March 2015, SAIC was awarded a contract to perform an AAV survivability upgrade SU. Marine Corps and SAIC officials unveiled the AAV SU prototype in January 2016, with survivability enhancements including replacing the angled enhanced applique armor kit with 49 advanced buoyant ceramic armor panels, a bonded spall liner, armor protected external fuel tanks, an aluminum armor underbelly providing MRAP equivalent blast protection, and blast mitigating seats as well as a more powerful engine, new suspension system, and increased reserve buoyancy. The AAV SU program was intended to upgrade 392 out of the some 1,000 vehicle fleet to keep them operational through 2035 as the ACV gradually entered service. However, in August 2018 the Marine Corps terminated the AAV upgrade program, instead opting for increased procurement of the ACV. Variants <inaudible> 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 LVTP-7, original series introduced from 1972. Originally armed with a M85.50 cal machine gun. 
LVTP 7A1 to 1982 upgraded. Renamed to AAVP 7A1 from 1984. AAVP 7A1 personnel, this is the most common AAV, as it carries a turret equipped with an M2 HB.50 caliber heavy machine gun, and a MK 1940mm automatic grenade launcher. It carries four crew radios as well as the AN, VIC-2 intercom system. It is capable of carrying 25 combat-equipped Marines in addition to the crew of four, driver, crew chief, vehicle commander, gunner, and rear crewman. AAVC 7A1 Command. This vehicle does not have a turret, and much of the cargo space of the vehicle is occupied by communications equipment. This version only has two crew radios, and in addition to the VIC 2, it also carries two VRC 92s, a VRC 89, a PRC 103 UHF radio, a MRC 83 HF radio, and the MSQ internetworking system used to control the various radios. This AAV has a crew of three, and additionally carries five radio operators, three staff members, and two commanding officers. Recently, the C-7 has been upgraded to use Harris Falcon 2 class radios, specifically the PRC-117 for VHF, UHF, SATCOM, and the PRC-150 for HF. AAVR 7A1 Recovery. This vehicle also does not have a turret. The R-7 is considered the wrecker as it has a crane as well as most tools and equipment needed for field repairs. It is by far the heaviest of the three, and sits considerably lower in the water. Crew of three, not including the repairmen, many P-7s have been modified to carry the MK-154 MCLC, or Mine Clearance Line Charge. The MCLC kit can fire three linear demolition charges to breach a lane through a minefield. MCLCs were used in the 1991 Persian Gulf War and again in Operation Iraqi Freedom in 2003. In the 1970s, the U.S. Army used an LVTP-7 as the basis for their Mobile Test Unit MTU, a ground-based anti-aircraft high-energy laser. After several successful test firings at Redstone Army Arsenal, the laser was reportedly transferred to NASA. AAVP-7A1 RAM, RS KAAV 7A1, KAAV 7A1 amphibious vehicle series based on AAV 7A1 by Samsung Techwin, now Hanwar Techwin and BAE Systems developed and manufactured in South Korea by Samsung Techwin. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Combat history. 20 U.S. built LVTP 7s were used by Argentina during the 1982 invasion of the Falkland Islands, with all of them returning to the Argentine mainland before the war ended. From 1982 to 1984, LVTP 7s were deployed with U.S. Marines as part of the multinational peacekeeping force in Beirut, Lebanon. As Marines became increasingly involved in hostilities, several vehicles sustained minor damage from shrapnel and small arms fire. On October 25, 1983 U.S. Marine LVTP-7s conducted a highly successful amphibious landing on the island of Grenada as part of Operation Urgent Fury. It was heavily used in the 1991 Gulf War and Operation Restore Hope. After the 2003 invasion of Iraq, AAV-7A1s were criticized for providing poor protection for the crew and passengers compared with other vehicles such as the M2 Bradley. Eight were disabled or destroyed during the Battle of Naziria, where they faced RPG, mortar, tank and artillery fire. At least one vehicle was destroyed by fire from friendly A-10 Warthog attack planes. In August 2005, 14 Marines were killed when their AAV struck a roadside bomb in the Euphrates River Valley. <laughs> Cancelled replacement Renamed from the Advanced Assault Amphibious Vehicle in late 2003, the Expeditionary Fighting Vehicle EFV was designed to replace the aging AAV. Able to transport a full Marine rifle squad to shore from an amphibious assault ship beyond the horizon with three times the speed in water and about twice the armor of the AAV, and superior firepower as well it was the Marine Corps No. 1 Priority Ground Weapon System acquisition. The EFV was intended for deployment in 2015. However, in January 2011 United States Defense Secretary Robert Gates announced plans to cancel the expeditionary fighting vehicle. In 2012, the USMC dropped the EFV and canceled the program. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Training systems. 
The Office of Naval Research under the Virtual Training and Environments program, led by then LCDR Dylan Schmorro, developed a prototype training system called the AAV Turret Trainer. The system consists of an actual surplus turret mounted with ISMT indoor simulated marksmanship trainer weapons firing on a projected screen displaying the VIRTE virtual environment. A total of 15 systems were produced for the USMC and one system for Taiwan. Topic: Operators. Topic: Current operators. Argentina Naval Infantry Command, 21 LVTP7s, upgraded locally by MEC ATROL with Caterpillar C7 diesel engines and minor changes to running gear and other components. Brazil Brazilian Marine Corps, 49. Indonesia, 15 in service with the Indonesian Marine Corps. Donated by South Korea Italy, due to be replaced by the Italian Marines Japan, JGSDF, 58, 46 personnel, 6 command and 6 recovery. After a period of testing 6 AAV P7A1s, Japan on 7 April 2016 announced it would purchase 30 systems. Vehicles are AAV 7A1 reliability, availability, and maintainability, rebuild to standard RAM, RS versions, with a more powerful engine and drive train and an upgraded suspension system, providing improved mobility, command, control, and repair capabilities. Deliveries to take place in mid to late 2017. ROC, Republic of China Marine Corps, 54 and 1 AAV turret trainer. 36 currently on order for $375 million USD. United States, United States Marine Corps, 1,311 Spain, Spanish Navy Marines, 19 16 personnel, 2 command and 1 recovery Thailand, Royal Thai Marine Corps, 36, AAVP-7A1, AAVC-7A1, AAVR-7A1 Upgraded locally by Shazeri South Korea, South Korean Marine Corps Future operators Philippines, Philippine Marine Corps, 8 units KAAV-7AI variant on order See also 3rd Assault Amphibian Battalion World War II, Korea LVT Museum Topic Notes Topic External Links FASAAV article AAV fact file at the official USMC website Paper regarding high energy lasers and the MTU Images of the MTU AAV seven A one on armor WS USMC Amtrak Association website